We have tremendous faith in God and he's got a plan. Mother Nature tested that faith. The National Weather Service says this is the work of near 80 mile per hour winds. The way the wind changed, I, I got up from my chair, went over to look. A tree came down very fast. Uprooted and toppled into Carol and Alan Hubing's Doylestown home at the height of Wednesday storm. Alan, in his garage at the time, witnessed the destruction. No one was hurt. As for the home, the fire marshal came out and said it's uninhabitable, that we shouldn't even go inside. Insurance will help cover the cost to rebuild. The rest of Doylestown also trying to bounce back after an EF0 tornado hit southern Lehigh County and northern Bucks County. The tornado lifted before Doylestown, but heavy winds packed a punch, splitting power lines in two. I just walked into town for the first time just now, and this is where the damage is much worse. Crews worked to restore power to hundreds of customers Friday, some of them businesses. I can't work. I mean, what's going to... I mean, I've got stuff I have to do today, and I'm not going to be able to do any work today. So. Just trying to deal with cold showers and <laughs> things like that. Michelle Carter not only lost power at her home, but at her web development business. It just makes it a little harder for the guys to work and, and collaborate. The folks at Maxwell on Main Street breathing a sigh of relief that the lights were back on in time for the weekend. But they're not quite out of the storm yet. No internet meant no credit cards, music, um, ATM machine, you name it. And the restaurant also had to get rid of some spoiled food during the outage. Despite the losses in the community, neighbors are resilient and they're coming together. We're hoping we can stay open and keep power so we can help some of the people that don't have power and don't have, you know, had uh, had it harder than we did. Neighbors helping neighbors. In Doylestown, Crystal Fanmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News.